was, um, it's been a bit of a delay because there was some stuff that um, took a bit longer to come than I anticipated. So I've actually got the next video almost ready. But this is the new installment in the 10 Metal Bands You Haven't Heard But Should series. Uh, there's some great stuff in here that I think um, not many of you will know, I'm hoping. So I'm going to start off with some of the bigger releases that you may know. I'm going to start with three recent releases. They're all variants of Doom Metal from more Sludge Stoner stuff to more Death Doom, all on Transcending Obscurity Records. So we've got Chalice of Suffering with their latest album Lost Eternally. All of these come in gorgeous digi packs. Um, Canal's done an app. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, dude, but an absolutely amazing job as always with presentation. Also, recently got the this Crawl album that was my album of the year last year on vinyl. It's uh, like purple and black splatter. It's really cool. So, Chalice of Suffering. Slightly funeral doom touches to. It's very melodic and atmospheric. It's a stunning album. You know, if you like bands like Eye of Solitude, definitely check out uh, Chalice of Suffering. Next, the more sludgy band. This is over an hour, I think nearer an hour and ten minutes. It's three tracks. Is the new Eremit album called Carrier of Weight. Uh, once again, transcending obscurity. And once again, gorgeous presentation. Sh huge props to canal here i believe there's a bit of a delay on a couple of these because he read the digi packs or something and i believe the other two i'm not going to say the name of the third because that's spoilers and we hate spoilers here but um for a spoiler this is some absolutely crushing like stoner sludge um you know huge cavernous fuzzy guitars riffs similar to bands like conan but more drawn out it's impactful it's just true doom stomping goodness like just just fucking buy it, right? That's Aramit from Germany. Next up is uh, a band more along the lines of bands like Hooded Menace and Druid Lord with some quite melodic and atmospheric, once again, like Chalice of Suffering, but more on the Death Doom side of things. Illimitable, Illimitable Delore, I believe you say that, with Lead and Light. It's, again, got this amazing presentation, and again with Transcending Obscurity. It's not favoritism, although they are one of my favorite labels uh, all the way from India. And these things came really quickly, despite having to travel to the uh, northern part of Europe to me. These three releases absolutely kill, so Doom fans just buy them. And that reminds me, these two, The Chalice of Suffering and Illimitable Deloitte, you can conveniently buy in like a package where you get both of them, which is what I did for... I think it's around $15 or something. Please don't quote me on that because I might be wrong, but it was really affordable. Next up, we have some killer old school death metal from uh, Testimony Records. Is the new album, I believe you say this, Kunum. It's K -V K -H -N -V -M, with Foretold Monuments of Flesh. Killer old school death metal. It's exactly what you expect and it, it delivers with the nice hand numbered digi pack. Talking of great old school style death metal, we have from Memento Mori Records, the new Horizonus album, A Culinary Cacophony. It's violent, it's grotesque, it's slimy, it's fucking awesome. Just listen once again. All of this stuff and stuff aforementioned in other videos like this, just please do yourself a favour and check it out. So that's Horizonus's new album. Next up, this isn't a new release, much like most of the others, but it's one that I felt I wanted to talk about. I picked it up as a blind buy in a record store, and that is Ketzer with Satan's Boundaries Unchained. The label is, uh, aggressive, no? Oh, shit, Necro Shrine Records. Sorry, I had a really small, tiny, tiny logo here that I was trying to read. So, that's Ketzer, sort of, um... Black and Thrash, Speed Metal, not unlike bands like Midnight, Destroyer 666, Aura Noir, but these guys have a really unique, sort of quite piercing sound, maybe more akin to Whip Striker or uh, Bastardizer. On the subject of Black Metal, this is probably the biggest band you will hear on this video. I'm sure plenty of you guys know this band, so don't, please don't give the whole, I already know this band, like, awesome, you're already enjoying it. I've done, that renders this part of the job useless, but... For those who don't, this is the new album Mardom by the black metal legends Darkened Nocturne Slaughter Cult out on War Anthem Records and got a lot of digipacks. This is mainly CDs. I've been ordering 
the reason I order CDs and tapes more than vinyl, because I do have a nice collection of vinyl, as you can see here. And then I have seven inches up in here. Oh, fuck. And uh, I might as well show the collection update size. We have tapes here um, and CDs over here. So I have quite a lot, but uh, CDs and tapes are easier to store. They are less likely to get damaged and are easier to fix, i.e. if the case is cracked that's replaceable and also it saves a lot on shipping so just in case anyone wonder, one wondered I do buy vinyl still there is one seven inch in this video but that's that little explanation but anywho this is Doc and Nocturne Slaughter Cult led by the magnificent Onila I believe you say her name um, absolutely killer it's melodic it's piercing it's evil if you like stuff like Sargeist and Horner who work in Villa then you will certainly enjoy this stuff it's absolutely killer Next up, another sort of Black Thrash speed release. One of my favourites from, uh, I can't remember if it's this year or last year. No, it was this year. I'm not an idiot. And that is, I can't remember the title because it's long. The Damnation Stairway to the Altar of Failure on Triumph of Death Records. The new Extirpation. Look at that awesome artwork. You have these cool sarcophago-esque band photo. If you like stuff, you know, again with the Black Speed kind of stuff. More like a sarcophago... Um, Mr. Fire somewhat, uh, maybe a bit less experimental than Mr. Fire. Uh, the other South American bands from like Chile and Brazil, you know the style I'm talking about. Get on this, is absolutely killer. Next, that's all the CDs. So next we have a demo or EP on cassette from Dismal Fate Records. The new uh, Burial demo tape called The Forgotten. This awesome uh, Lovecraft, which some of you who follow my Instagram know I've been reading a lot of Lovecraft. This inspired... This is some Lovecraftian artwork with some kind of greater one depicted, uh, or outer one, however you want to call it. It's an absolutely killer demo tape from Dismal Fate Records. Lovely purple, nice and doomy looking. It's sort of, effectively what you're getting here is Death Doom with HM2s. So if you like drawn out death metal with sparse, doomy vocals, a really kind of dragging, crawling pace, and you also love the Swedish HM2 as much as I do, I have one right there which I used on the new Arboretum record, which is out now. So if you want to hear me playing some Swedish death, check out the third Arboretum album, Il Medico della Peste. I don't speak Latin, so I'm sorry. Um, theme go on Plague Doctors and stuff, that one. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about what I'm doing. These guys, Burial, absolutely crushing HM2 tones, Death Doom, slow drudging. It's three songs, so it's the same on each side. Absolutely hideously heavy. I love it. And finally, the most violent, chaotic, and sheerly barbaric release, as the artwork should imply, on our friends Mesaka and Ojo is the new intent, or it's not new actually, I don't think, but the 7-inch in of Intemperator, entitled Blood Blackened Atriums, I forgot that last word, sorry, it's just chaotic, black, death, war, noise, is so aggressive, and you know, if you like bands like Revenge and Conqueror and Archgoat and stuff like that, then listen to this because it will violently violate you and assault you in every possible way you can conceive in an audible sense. I love it. You guys will love it. Check that shit out. And that is 10 new metal bands you haven't heard but should. Although in the case of Darkened Nocturne Slaughter Cult, you might. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have found some new stuff. Um... Talking of underground music, I don't like to plug myself on these videos because that's not the purpose I do them, but there is a sort of permanent deal with my record label AHPN Records to get all of our releases digitally on Bandcamp for £5, which is about the same in dollars or euros. Uh, that's over 40 releases, nice mix of stuff, plenty of my pro projects of course, like uh, Sigli Englen, Arboretum, Graven Crypto, Hexavoid, all that shit you've heard me talk about too much on Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's a good deal. Uh, if you want to support what I do, that's one way. I also now have a Patreon, which I'll link. I don't expect many of you to do it, and honestly, I don't want to urge people to. It's not because I'm trying to make this a career, because it is by no means for anything other than supporting the bands. That is why I'm doing it. And if you and the Patreon isn't a money grab, it's basically because I'm not the most financially rich person at all, uh, and. All my money goes into buying these releases, and that is exactly what it's for. If you donate like a dollar or whatever, that will go into my bank through PayPal. 
I can then put that towards buying even more of the great stuff I review, showing it to you guys and spreading the word on true heavy metal. Stay real, stay heavy. Thanks for watching.